The all-new Laurel Park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. This long shot coming over. Witness the speed. Experience the thrill. Hi, racing fans, and welcome to the Saturday Replay Show from Laurel Park. Well, on Saturday afternoon, cooler temperatures greeting racing fans here in Maryland. Temperature in the 70s, the track rated good, still off the turf. On Saturday afternoon, just a few showers lingering around for the first few races on Saturday afternoon. Hopefully, we'll escape Saturday rain-free. We have 10 races on the card. Here's the first of 10 on Saturday. gate and they're off Wizala and Crazy Bernice joined by Sweet Georgia and three deep to show speed. The trio right across. Capture the Sun and Marjorie Muggs next. And first blush the inside. And Anthem Singer out wide. Eight lengths from first to last. And Sweet Georgia N burst away from the other speed. Crazy Bernice and Wizala. Then it's Capture the Sun has got seven to make up. Anthem Singer is next. And Marjorie Muggs first blush. Turn run and it's Sweet Georgia N kicking away by two lengths with Zala and Crazy Bernice head to head for second. Well back to the others now. The outside is Madri Muggs out four deep and capture the sun. First blush saving ground. Anthem Singer drops to last. Turning for home, Sweet Georgia N. Sweet Georgia N. Was Zala trying to attack on the outside? Was Zala still game? Was Zala and Sweet Georgia N for the final furlong together? They're three lengths clear from the tiring Crazy Bernice and Madri Muggs trying to pick up third and D does, but it is Wazala. Wazala at the 16th pole. Wazala, a popular winner in the Laurel Park opener on the good going. The win by three, maybe four at the end with Sweet Georgia N or Madri Muggs. Madri Muggs surging, capture the sun and first blush. One oh six point three three. And they're off. The hardest way in Cedar Town, punching through between best calling to trouble and the inside, not judging, just saying, is in fourth. Utter Magic is only about four and a half from the front, and Regal Note is out kicked early. By the speed of the hardest way, the favorite from Best Kind of Trouble by a length and a half. Then Cedar Town working harder in third, not judging, just say, and Utter Magic, another six back, and Regal Note is last. Into the turn, the hardest way in front from Best Kind of Trouble, length and a half. In between horses is Utter Magic, the outside Cedar Town still pushed along, and the inside is not judging, just say, and is in fifth, and still Regal Note last of them all. Midpoint on the turn, it's the hardest way from Best Kind of Trouble is coming almost to even turns, but it's the hardest way trying to kick on at the quarter pole. It's Cedar Town in third, the top of the stretch now in the hardest way, racing well off the inside, now opens up once again from Best Kind of Trouble, then Cedar Town, not judging, just saying an utter magic and regal note for a long left to go. The hardest way in front, off the rail there at the 16th pole, and it's the hardest way in Sheldon Russell. The hardest way, Running about just a little bit there, but the hardest way went by about four or five. Best kind of trouble or Cedar Town. Not judging, just say an automatic real note.
Pardon Tories French, the favorite beautiful night sky, joined by Heaven's Door, the red sleeves the inside, Cherish Prize and Vaughn out kicked in the early stages. On to the main portion of the track now, beautiful night sky, wasting no time and gone to the front from Pardon Tories French and Heaven's Door riding that rail. And then it's back to Cherish Prize racing well off the inside and Vaughn is last. Five lengths from front to back. Heaven's Door pushing up on the inside now and it's Heaven's Door. Now going to show you the way from beautiful night sky by about a length. And Pardon Tories French is in mid-flight, then Vaughn and last is Cherish Prize. Heaven's Door now the one to catch, a length and a half in front from Beautiful Night Sky, who's keeping up in second, then Pardon Tories French, the Black Colors in third, and Vaughn and Cherish Prize. Not much change now into the far turn, it's Heaven's Door from Beautiful Night Sky by two, then Pardon Tories French, Vaughn and Cherish Prize back of the pack. Three and one half furlongs to go, Heaven's Door now, Heaven's Door by three. Beautiful Night Sky has to play catch up now, with more than a quarter of a mile to go to the second wire. The outside is Martin Tories French, then Vaughn and Cherish Prize. Turning for home, and it's Heaven's Door. Heaven's Door suddenly opening up, and now throwing this a seven length advantage on Vaughn second. And then it's back to Pardon Tories French. Pardon Tories French takes second, then Cherish Prize. Beautiful night skies flattened out to last in the final furlong. Heaven's Door with a six length lead on Pardon Tories French. Then Vaughn strung out in third, and Cherish Prize, a beautiful night sky. It's Heaven's Door. Eight to one on Heaven's Door under the X Man to win from Pardon Tories French by four to five. Vaughn was third. They are all in line. They're off. Aphrodite's Quest Fleet Flame and Untake out of the outside. Ask Me I Might up inside showing speed as well. Ask Me I Might's going to go for it now from Aphrodite's Quest. Fleet Flame is in third position, then Untake out of the outside, well settled in fourth. Follow the pedals near the inside, a close fifth, only two and a half from the front, and value added, and last is Crooked. Five and a half lengths will cover them. Ask Me I Might is the pace of the race here from Fleet Flame, just second Aphrodite's Quest, Untaken out in the clear, then value added pushing up at the fence and follow the pedals is in and among horses there in the second group of horses and back to Crooked who is last but only four and a half lengths of Ask Me I Might Ask Me I Might heading into the far turn value added on the inside follow the pedals is in third then untaken out of the clear in fourth Aphrodite's quest back in fifth then it's Fleet Flame and Crooked is seventh so three and a half furlongs to go and it's Ask Me I Might in front from value added a half length Un taken rubbing up on the outside also follow the pedals is right there and follow the pedals has got running between horses as they straighten in a quarter of a mile to go turning for home ask me i might driven to stay follow the pedals on the outside pushed along to take the lead now untaken is in third value added is in fourth and crooked even paced fifth at the last for a long and a half and follow the pedals and sheldon russell opening up now three four lengths untaken second ask me i might is in third and crooked trying the inside tries to push to fourth and he does now it's follow the petals untaken was second and then crooked surging very late on the outside third from ask me i might
They're off. Ice-T is slow to go. Sing praises on the outside, shooting right to the front. Out skips Hurler and opens up two and a half. Sing praises very quick into the lead. Now three from Hurler. Sir Orinoco is third to the inside. Demon Buster, Mr. Game, seven. Baby Cat and Ice-T are in the back. As they head on for the far turn run, Sing praises is clear. Two and a half in front. Hurler, Sir Orinoco is in third. Then Demon Buster trying to get going there from fourth. Ice-T has worked up to fifth. Then Baby Cat and Mr. Game, seven. Three furlongs left to go. Sing praises still in front. Sing praises from Hurler trying to catch now from the outside. Sir Orinoco is racing in third just ahead of Demon Buster. Struggles along in the fourth spot at the quarter pole. And Ice-T and Baby Cat and Mr. Game 7 making the turn for home. Sing praises the target to catch. Sing praises Sir Orinoco coming gamely near the inside. Then it's Hurler out in the middle of the track in third. It's Sing praises trying to hold on for another furlong, but Sir Orinoco is charging hard near the inside. Sir Orinoco on the inside. Sir Orinoco to the front of the 16th pole from Sing Praises. Sir Orinoco Sing Praises. Then Ice Tea Baby Cat and Hurler. Time 111.17. They are in the gate. And they're off hot and spicy love flying out of the gate. Hot and spicy love opens up two lengths and unleash the beast charges into second. Dynamic asset on the outside is in third, but I'm on a mischief is in fourth and circle R is in between horses in fifth. Fenton's for the favorite is in sixth. They're followed by Edify, redeemed gentleman racing greenly with a head high in the air and Sherlock's hope is the last runner into the far turn. And so unleash the beast challenging hot and spicy love dueling together. Dynamic asset keeping up there on the fire outside in third. Right about a mischief has run there just in behind leaders at the top of the stretch his right amount of mischief just looking for a bit of racing room and traffic behind the trio as they make the turn and then Fenton's four is sweeping up to the far outside they're followed by circle R into the stretch and it's dynamic asset now striking the lead and kept the task right amount of mischief switch to the outside and out of the clear to try to run down dynamic asset dynamic asset with a two and a half length advantage Fenton's four charging it right amount of mischief making it close for a second dynamic asset to win by two lengths on the line right amount of mischief and Fenton's four then hot and spicy love and unleash the beast. And they're off. 
Wonderman in brute force and Clubman up there with speed to the turn. But it's going to be Wonderman just in front now from brute force as Clubman's back in third position. Here's the favorite Stan Guard and they're followed on the inside by Chief Tari, Leather Goods and last is Brighton Lane. Wonderman's the speed out there with seven furlongs to go. A length and three quarters in front from brute force is second. A gap of about five more lengths and Stan Guard to the outside and Clubman down to the inside. They're followed by Leather Goods and Chief Tari and Brighton Brighton Lane is seventh and last. Wonderman still setting solid pace out there on a sloppy track. Very solid indeed for Wonderman. Wonderman's in front, a little more than length from Brute Force in second. Stand Guard is third, then Clubman inside of Stand Guard. As Leather Goods is fifth and getting a little closer as well, racing in the three path, then Brighton Lane and Chief Tari. Wonderman's been going a good pace, and that pace taking its toll now as Stangard on the outside is revving up there three wide, and Stangard now just in front from Brute Force in second, and Leather Goods with a wide sweep, and here comes Brighton Lane, who's got a fighting chance, too, and Clubman in between horses. Stangard now working hard with two and a half furlongs to go to hold off Leather Goods, just in behind his Clubman in third, and Brighton Lane continues with momentum at the top of the stretch. They make the turn for home with Leather Goods in front, but Brighton Lane on the outside. Stan Guard ridden to stay. In between horses, there is Clubman. One off the inside. Now Clubman down to the rail takes a narrow lead, and Brighton Lane on the outside. These two to the final furlong together, and Clubman's in front. Clubman with a two-length advantage on Brighton Lane as they're close to the line. Sheldon Russell rolling home with win number four today. Clubman, Clubman, Brighton Lane, and Stan Guard in leather goods. Brute force. Off. Anissa Expressly. Expressly Anissa. And Anissa and Expressly are nose to nose as they move down this sloppy one mile chute here at Laurel Park. And Expressly on the outside, a narrow lead from Anissa who is keeping pace to her inside. So the match race on as they move now with six furlongs to go in a one turn mile. Anissa right up against the rail and expressly the favorite right alongside of her. Head to head and Anissa is just in front with Heavy on Toledo. Anissa's got a head lead now from expressly as they move to the far turn run. So matching through a 26.31 opening quarter mile. Anissa expressly. Anissa still narrowly, maybe a half ahead from expressly to the outside. Three and a half furlongs to the second wire. Expressly in Fergal Lynch. Now given a bit of a nudge to go on, and this down to the inside, keeping pace. They have been nose to nose and head to head since the start as they reach the top of the stretch and make the long run in, a quarter mile to go. And Expressly is set down and floated to the middle of the track. Has got the lead now by three quarters of a length. Anissa's under a drive to stay in the final furlong and a half. Expressly now driven right-handed. Anissa's given Expressly a good battle, but with less than a furlong to go. Expressly and Fergal Lynch in front and full stride now in front of Anissa, and it will be Expressly from Anissa.
and they're off. Lucky in Malibu and Tickle Pink from the outside. Gage for the lead. Here comes Miss Nosy speeding up on the inside. And Perennials right there between horses in fourth. If I was a boy, is fifth also between rivals. Super Trend is inside. And Aiden's Ragdoll. There's some room for La V Ross just inside of Super Trend now within five of the lead. Phantom Shot and no picnic at the back. Ten or eleven lengths will cover them. Less than five furlongs to run. Miss Nosy sets the tempo three quarters from Tickle Pink in second. Then it's perennial in between horses in third position, and entry made if I was a boy alongside of that. At the rail is La B. Ross, then Super Trend. They're followed by Lucky in Malibu, starting to improve three wide on the track. Aiden's Ragdoll. Then it's Phantom Shot and No Picnic. Less than three furlongs to go. Miss Nosy working harder now. Tickled Pink now draws alongside it up to grab the lead. If I was a boy, Lucky in Malibu still trying to rev up. Has moved up into fourth, and La B. Ross is in fifth. Then Perennial Six and Phantom Shot now takes over sixth position. Still has seven to come as Tickled Tickle Pink breaks away to a three-length lead as they straighten in. Tickle Pink from Lucky in Malibu. And if I was a boy in third, Phantom Shot in fourth. They're done at the last furlong, and it's Tickle Pink in front. Tickle Pink well to the center of the track with Lucky in Malibu second best to Tickle Pink. Lucky in Malibu. Then if I was a boy, and no picnic in Phantom Shot Levy Ross. And they're off. Professor Zoom and social media breaking alertly for the lead. Put it forward and Dr. Bolt on the outside. And a Tuscadaran is up there in the yellow sleeve showing speed. Whiskey Sour riding the rail coming through inside of the lead group. Then it's Mongolian King and Dazzling Okies about eight from the front. Cold Spice and last is they all come home. Who's last now some 16 off the pace of a Tuscadaran. Five furlongs out a Tuscadaran from social media about a length. On the outside, put it forward is in third. Then Whiskey Sour is in fourth. Mongolian King Dazzling Oki is in between horses. Six to close past the half mile pole with Dr. Bolt, the one widest of the ball. And Dazzling Oki is uh, now or about eight from the front as they end of the far turn. Etesca Darren leading the way from Put It Forward in second social media. Dr. Bolt is on the outside. Mongolian King Whiskey Sour, Dazzling Oki, and then it's Professor Zoom out wide under a drive. They all come home, and last is Cold Spice. They make the turn for home with Etesca Darren. Etesca Darren up front, a two-length advantage. Put It Forward, Dr. Bolt the middle of the track, then Dazzling Oki, who's in fourth to the last furlong and put it forward put it forward to a Tuscadero and Dr. Bolt the far outside trying to gain very late a 16th out put it forward put it forward scoring from Dr. Bolt by almost two a Tuscadero then dazzling Oki whiskey sour One twenty four point ninety the time
That's it for the Saturday racing program at Laurel Park. 110 post time on Sunday afternoon. It's going to be a big day with some clear skies and lower temperatures on Sunday. The rain should move out of the area. Perfect day for our Laurel Park crab feast on Sunday afternoon on the grandstand apron from 1 to 5. You get your Maryland steamed hard shell crabs. Also southern fried chicken on the menu. Pulled pork mac and cheese. Corn on the cob and much more. Get your tickets for the Laurel Park crab feast. $65 per person on Sunday afternoon. Live racing and simulcast action too from Monmouth Park. Watch and wager on the Haskell Stakes. So a big day of racing coming up Sunday with a Laurel Park crab feast. We'll see you Sunday afternoon here at Laurel Park.